So we are done with our geometry. Now we will develop the meshing. So go to ANSYS mesh module. Now go to mesh and go to mappable face. So it will show you what which faces can be mapped. So go to mesh control, mapped face mesh, then this face will be mapped. Then go to mesh and generate mesh. Okay. So you can see here we mapped our domain and the number of mesh here is 74,000. So right now we will stick with this number. So we don't need to change this number right now. Now we will define our boundaries and our boundary conditions. So here, first of all, we will try to see the co-flow and then we will try to see the counter flow exchanger problem. So as you can see here, if you see closely here, you have three phase. This phase is your inner fluid. This phase is the solid wall and this phase is the outer fluid, right? So for co-flow, this phase will be the hot fluid inlet and this phase will be the cold fluid inlet and the other side of this tube will be the outlet. So select this, name it hot inlet and select this phase, name it cold inlet. Okay, and then change this, select this face, name it hot outlet and select this cold outlet. Now the interesting part is we have two different fluid and these two different fluid is separated by this wall. So how we are going to relate these two fluid with this wall? That is a new topic. We never discussed about this. So in Fluent, we do this kind of problem by interface. So the interface is when you have Two fluid zone and that two fluid zone is separated by a wall like this then that wall is acting like an interface and you have to define those interface so that the fluid can interact with other fluid with this wall so what will happen the fluid will flow over this wall but the heat will be transferred from one fluid to another. If this is the case, then we have to develop the interface. So we will develop the interface here. So it's very simple to create an interface in Fluent, but you have to define what are the interface faces. For example, if you see closely, you need to wall for an interface, for a single interface. So if you go to your geometry and let's say this is your inner fluid, this is your solid wall and this is your outer fluid. So you can see clearly. So if we hide these two things, the outer fluid and the solid pipe, then we only have the inner fluid. So this outside of the inner fluid will interact with the inside wall of the solid pipe. So show body and hide the inner fluid. Now you have the solid pipe only. 
so now you have the inside wall of the tube so this is one interface and another interface will be the outside wall of the tube and the inside wall of the fluid so we will define those walls as interface and we will create the interface in fluid so let's do that first of all hide the outer fluid or hide the solid wall hide solid wall so now you have if you see very closely this is a little bit tricky part if you see closely you have two fluid zone this is one zone and this is another zone so you have two fluid zone so we want to select the outer wall of the inside fluid so select this go to create name section and name it interface one and then you hide the outer fluid or inner fluid and you show the so this is the inner wall of the tube so select this wall and create name section name it interface 2 so there are two interface right now interface 1 and interface 2 interface 1 is the outer side of your inner fluid and interface 2 is your inner wall of the tube then right now we will create another interface so hide the outer fluid first select the outside wall of the tube create name section name it interface 3 and then go here show the outside body and hide the tube wall and select the outer surface of your outer fluid domain make sure you select the correct wall in case this is the correct wall so name it interface 4 so interface 1 and interface 2 will create one interface and interface 3 and interface 4 will create another interface this is really important so show all of your bodies go to mesh update your mesh so here you can see clearly interface 1 is your fluid fluid zone outer wall of the fluid zone interface 2 is your inside interface 3 is the outside wall of the tube interface 4 is the inside wall of your outer fluid so we have developed our hot inlet cold inlet hot outlet cold outlet and the interface so go to mesh update the last time and you are done with your meshing now we will set up our case with the interface 